Welcome to Brief Crypto. We review the talk and action around crypto and sum it up. Today is Friday, March 18th. Today's video is for entertainment only. Looking at the markets on CryptoBubbles.com. Nice big green bubble in the middle here. Ape up 60.9%. We're going to be talking about Ape in further detail later on in the video. Kusama up 10.5. ZC up 11.4. Waves up 14.3. Compound up 6.4. Mina up 11.1, AVAX, Avalanche up 9, Ethereum up 4.7, Uniswap up 5.1. So nice green day in the cryptocurrency market. Again, there are a few red bubbles, but they're quite small. The Sandbox down 2.4, Pancake down 3.1, Anchor Protocol down 1.5, Secret down 2.4, Basic Attention Token down 2.7. Looking at the tokens that we track and chart and are on our shopping list. Avalanche up 9%, Super Farm up almost 7, Curve up almost 5. Then we have Trader Joe, Ethereum, Thorchain up around 5%, Bitcoin up 2%, Cardano up about 2%, Cosmos up 1.2%, Arweave, Solana, Immutable X, and Decentraland Mana between 0 and 1.22%. XRP, Filecoin, Terra Luna, and the Sandbox are the only tokens that are down today on the list from 0.42 for XRP to 2.44% for the Sandbox. We're still continuing to follow the fractal from Bitcoin having to the peak to low. And you can see the blue line is, is, is the current line. And we're following right along on this fractal on the daily for Bitcoin. Of course, we've talked about the having to high rhyming with the past having cycles, the having to the high to low rhyming if we follow this fractal and the having to low rhyming if we follow this fractal. Looking at the fractal on the weekly for Bitcoin, following and tracking very nicely as well. So if it continues to track along with the uh, Bitcoin having to fractal, then we'd expect to see Bitcoin go up to around 43,000, somewhere in that neighborhood, and then retracing back, consolidating for a while, and then dropping down to somewhere around 26,000 if it follows this having to fractal. We'd expect that low to be somewhere in mid-November 2022. We're looking at the fractal for Ethereum as well. Not quite as tidy on the weekly for Ethereum. We can see that it is still trending very nicely or at least rhyming with the fractal, the ETH fractal from peak to low from the Bitcoin having cycle two. And so if Ethereum continues to follow this fractal, then we'd expect to see a low in mid-October 2022, somewhere around 1600. Cardano with the fractal as well, uh, rhyming with it, definitely not matching right up, but still right in line. And if it, and we don't have a lot further to drop uh, from 0.85 to 0.6 potentially in Cardano if we follow this fractal from Bitcoin having two, the peak to low Cardano fractal. Then we'd reach that low sometime in mid-August 2022. XRP on the weekly, nice big green weekly candle up 4.54% for the week and nice uptrend in place for XRP and some good news for Ripple as well. Big win for Ripple as new documents suggest XRP is not a security on CryptoNewsFlash.com. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, sued Ripple Labs in 2020 for issuing unregistered securities. About a month ago, a couple of key memos made available to the public disclosed that the legal advice received by Ripple in 2012 was that regulators would not consider XRP as a security. On CryptoPotato.com, Aave price surges by 30% as wells and sharks accumulate. The lending protocol's token is up over 30% on the week following its version 3 update. Aave is number 6 on DeFi Llama in terms of total value locked. Total value locked on all protocols on DeFi Llama is $208.59 billion. And Aave is number 6 with $12.62 billion. And on the Ethereum Avalanche and Polygon chains. Further news on Cointelegraph, Cointelegraph.com, ApeCoin, the governance token for the well-known Board Ape Yacht Club NFT project, was airdropped to the Board Ape, Ape Yacht Club and Mutant Ape 
Yacht Club owners at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time yesterday, and only eight hours after it be became tradable in the open market. It has already jumped to the 110th most traded token, ranked by CoinGecko, totaling 900 million in trading volume across all tracked platforms. On u.today.com, Universal Music Group, the record label behind such megastars as Taylor Swift and Drake, has purchased Board Ape number 5537, one of the non-fungible tokens from the immensely popular Board Ape Yacht Club NFT collection. The group of digital apes will be performing in different realms of the metaverse. So looking at our shopping list, um, we're continuing to follow the RSI CBBI model, and the CBBI currently is 36, and we're waiting to do anything, buy or sell, until a CBBI gets below 30. However, today, we did buy APE, just a very small amount of APE coin, which is the decentralized project inspired by Board APE Yacht Club project. And so we did buy a very small amount of APE, and so we added that to our currently owned crypto and crypto-related uh, instruments. And this is not a recommendation and not financial advice. Tokens are in alphabetical order and the data may contain errors. So this is all the tokens that I currently own. Total cryptocurrency market cap went up 3% to 1.9 trillion. 24 hour volume went up 9.4% to 93 billion. Bitcoin dominance down 0.6% to 42%. And ETH dominance up 0.3% to 18.1%. Thank you for joining today's Brief Crypto. If you like today's video, please follow us. Today's video is for entertainment only. We are not financial advisors. You should always do your own investment research.